Hi, it's Jack Godfrey here, and this is a Beginner Qigong. I provide um, three videos a week on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. The Monday one is uh, intermediate Qigong movements, and the Wednesday and Fridays are beginner Qigong movements. So it's taught as in a class format. And also, on Saturday, I offer a live class on Zoom at 9 a.m. in the morning, Atlantic time zone. If you'd like to take part in that class, just send an email to jack.godfrey49 at gmail.com. And Godfrey is G-O-D-F-R-E-Y. And I'll add you to the distribution list for the Zoom meeting invite. Today, we're going to be adding music to the recording. And we've talked about that, this in the past, about the three treasures, Jing, Qi, and Shun. Jing is the most visible, it's the most obvious. It's the actual movement that's going on. So the arms coming up, the arms coming down, the body stretching forward, stretching back. This is the most obvious. The next piece after that is the, the qi, the breath, the blood movement, the bioelectric energy that keeps the body moving. This is more internal, but still you breathe in, you can feel the breath come in, you can feel the breath come out, you can feel tingling in the hands after you've done particular movements. So it's internal, but still pretty obvious. The third and the most important is the shun. It's the intention. It's what's going on inside the mind. And as we've said in the past, you want to breathe in for four seconds, so for a count of four, and you want to breathe out for a count of four as well. So you do, you, we do this, so it's inhale, and in your mind you're going one, two, three, four, and then exhale, and we do the same sort of thing. Now, what happens is over time, these movements become quite routine, and your mind starts to wander. And once the mind wanders, you're losing the significant benefit of having your mind focused on the present moment and what's going on. So what we do is we add music to this. And so for a count of four, and so you inhale for a count of four, and the music is one beat per second or 60 beats per minute. And in this particular music that I use, there's a chime every four seconds. So you inhale for four, and then there's a ding, and then you exhale for four. Now the goal is, when you're using movement and music and breath together, is to have the movement reach the end point when the chime happens and the breath reaches its end point as well. And then you move the breath the opposite way. And we move for a count of four, wait for the bell to sound, and you want to have smooth movement going on here. So now, even after the movements become routine, you're using the music and the need to match the chime, match the bell, to keep the mind focused. And all of a sudden, it's no longer routine. I have to stay focused on what I'm doing in order to have the full benefit of the Qigong movements. Now, we'll get started with our practice. Today, we're going to be doing the uh, boosting the immune system warm-up movement, and then we'll be working our way through some portion of the eight pieces of brocade, and then wrapping up with our usual five directions meditation piece. So for the beginning of this class, as always, we start with pull down the heavens. So you turn to the right, gather the chi from the earth, reach up to the heavens, stretching up, return to the opposite side, 
And we draw the chi down in to the brass basin. Once more. All right, and so now, placement of the feet. We want to have the feet comfortably hip width apart. So you lift the toes, lift the heel. You're on the ball joint of this foot. Turn the heel around. It should just about touch the ball joint of the other foot. Lift the heel, lift the toes, pivot the foot on the ball joint, and let the feet come down. So this establishes our foundation. Bend the knees ever so slightly. What you want to avoid is locking the knees. So we have a very slight bend here. Grab the hips, push down with the thumbs, tuck the tailbone into the body. Pull the belly button in, lift the ribs, Bring the hands up so they're about the same height as the elbows. Turn them out to the side and bring the elbows towards each other. What this does is create a big openness in the top of the chest. And then from here, we lift the chin, we gaze to the horizon, lift the top of the head to the heavens. We bring the hands up, standing like a tree. So the center of the palm and the eyes about the same height. The wrists over the elbows. The wrists in line with the toes. Now inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhaling, and exhale. Inhale, we're on the small triangle. Exhale, we drift back to the large triangle. Last cycle, so you inhale, exhale, let the arms come down. We'll pull down the heavens yet again as we move into our boosting the immune system warm-up series. So inhale, gather the chi, look over the shoulder, reach up to the heavens, turn to the opposite side, draw the chi down. And now, standing on a boat. So you move on to the small triangle. We lift the ribs, we lift the chin. And exhale, we come on down. Inhale, small triangle, dragon's back. Exhale, large triangle, turtle back. Inhaling. And exhale. Inhaling. And exhale. And now we're going to add to this, expelling the chi. So we need to move our feet out to the side here in our stacking of the bone stance. So shoulder, ribs, hip, ankle, all in the pile. Same going on over here. Shoulder, ribs, hip, ankle, all in the pile. So now expelling the chi. 
we come over here, we gather the chi up from the brass basin and we push it away. And then this hand comes up and we do the same thing. This on this side, push the turbid chi away. And then we come back to standing on a boat. And now we gather some fresh chi. So we come up, gather the chi, and we push that old turbid chi away. We come here, and we do the same on this side. And then we're back to standing on a boat. some fresh chi. And same over here. Now last cycle. So inhale. Exhale. We do this movement twice. And we expel chi. And to the other side as well. And we gather fresh chi into the brass basin. back to their narrow stance and now we'll pull down the heavens three times and then move into the three hearts nine gates the eight pieces of brocade so we gather the chi from the earth reach up to the heavens and we draw it down from the heavens in to the brass basin Once more. All right, so the first movement in the eight pieces of brocade is double hands hold up the heavens. So you interlace the fingers, you turn the palms away and you push out and you're looking to straighten the arms. So if you have issues with your wrists, your elbows, your shoulders, you respect those limitations of your body and you go as far as comfortable. The Qigong is definitely a no pain, lots of gain practice. So we're here and we come out and you work your hands up over the head. So eventually, you know, the hands are over the head like so. And if you find that this is where you need to be, well, that's where you need to be. So we're here, inhale here, then exhale, you lift up, inhale, exhale, we go to the side, inhale, we're here, exhale. We 
You're getting a big stretch on the side of the body. So as we go to the side here, you're gonna feel a stretch from the wrist through the shoulders down to the ankle. We come back here, push up, and we go to the side. So let's just look from the side here. So what we're doing here is we're pushing up, take weight off the heels, turn to the side, keep the shoulders one above the other. Come back here. So back to the front view here. So we'll do two more iterations of this. the arms come on down. Both hands hold up the heavens. The next one is King removes his helmet. So for this one, you bring the hand around behind the back. You know, back of the hand, just below the ribs, against the kidney. The other hand reaches behind the head towards the ear. Pull this upper elbow back. So you want to take this guy back, turn the head, look at the other shoulder, and then inhale, we look down to the earth. Exhale, we look up to the heavens. And then we change to the opposite side. Inhale, and then exhale. Change arms. each side. Last side. down. So the next one in the series is divide heaven and earth. So we're holding a ball, a chi ball, in front of the body, around about the navel, roughly in this area here. So we're holding the ball and our, we're in the narrow stance still. You turn the ball over, you push up, and you pull the fingertips down and the hand is pointing across. The other hand down to the earth. So you push up, you push down, and you look to the upper hand. And then you bring the hands together, the ball rotates, and we go up on the opposite side. Then we come together again. Oh. 
So inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhaling, and exhale as we push apart. Inhale, we come together. Exhale, we go up. Inhale here. And we'll do one more on each side. This is one of them. And we come down, we turn, we go up. Inhale. Exhale. And last side. And the hands come on down. Now the next one we're going to do is gather the cloud, gather the sun and press the earth. And so a little bit wider here perhaps. So gather the sun and press the earth. We begin with gathering the chi from the heavens. We draw it in to the body. We lift the ribs, stretch the front of the body. Then exhale. We fold forward, we come down, tuck the chin, tuck the tailbone, stretching the spine. Inhale, we come up with a rounded back. Circle the abdomen, come across the liver 14, just at the bottom of the ribs, drop the chi in to the brass basin. So inhale. And exhale. Inhale, we come up. And exhale. Inhaling. Exhale, down the back of the hips, the back of the legs. Inhaling, we come back up. Exhale. So inhale, gather the chi from the heavens, from the sun. Inhaling. Exhale, we fold forward with the dragon's back. So one last one. Inhale. Exhale. Inhaling. Exhale. All right, so now we move into the next several are done in horse stance, but we're also running out of time. So we're going to do hobo, shoot arrow, and then we'll be wrapping up for the day. So put the feet out a little bit wider. So this is the stacking of the bone stance. So shoulder, ribs, hip, ankle, all in the pile. This knee bent, this leg straight. Check to see if the same thing's happening over here. So shoulder, ribs, hip, ankle, all in the stack, hence stacking the bones. 
Now, what you want to do is move the toes out and then move the heels out. And this is horse stance, horse riding stance. So once again, you want to make sure your body is comfortable in this position. Keep the shoulders over the hips as much as possible. Bring the knees forward and slide down a wall. The knees should go forward over your toes. So when you look down, you can go, I see my knee and I see my big toe. And that's what we're looking for. So from the side, looks like this. Pull, tuck the belly button in. We don't want to end up doing this. You want to be tall like this, so tuck the tailbone in and then bring the knees forward, keep the shoulders over the hips as we lower down. All right, so pull bow, shoot arrow. So we're here, we're up tall. Inhale. Exhale, we sink down. Inhale, we pull the bowstring back. Exhale, we release. Inhale, up. Exhale, we come down. Inhale, we pull the bowstring back. Exhale. Last side. And Hobo shoot arrow. Now we're going to bring the feet together. We're gonna wrap up with a really good movement for increasing bone density and it's called King Shakes His Body. So we're in the narrow stance. You bring heat to the palms. So you get the chi to the surface of the palms. You bring the wrists to the kidneys, fingers pointing down, lift the heels and you drop sharply on your heels. Keep your teeth together, keep your tongue out of the way of your teeth. So inhale. All right, 
And we'll pull down the heavens three times to wrap up this part of the session. And twice more. All right, and now we're going to move into our clothes, the five directions. So you want to have the feet again in that stacking of the bone stance. Knee bent, shoulder, ribs, hip over the ankle. A stack of bones. Same over here, a stack of bones. Now, the five directions. We come on to the small triangle. We bring the arms up, so this is forward. And then exhale, backwards. Inhale, off to the right. Exhale, down to the hips. Inhale, off to the left. Exhale, down to the hips. And then both hands up and down to the center. So our five directions, forward, backward, the right side, the left side, in the center. So, a couple other things we do here. We breathe to match these movements. So it's inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. And then it's inhale here, but now it's exhale twice as long. So one bell here, one bell here. So we're keeping our mind focused on what's going on. We're getting our breath, coordinating with the bell as well. We've got our movement going on also. So let's begin. Inhale, small triangle. Exhale, large triangle. Inhale, watch the hand come up. Exhale, watch it come down. Inhale, watch the other hand come up. Exhale, watch come down. Inhale, watch both hands come up, pick one. Exhale, we get down about the neck high. And we keep on going. So inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale twice. Last cycle. And that's the class for today. So thank you all for coming. All right, so that was today's class, a Beginner Qigong with music.
and moving to the music as best as possible. As you probably noticed throughout this piece, I got out of sync with the, with the chime several times, but the music serves to keep you focused on your breath and on your movement and trying to match that movement to the chime. It's not necessary to be exactly on, but just to realize that I'm a little bit ahead, I'm a little bit behind, and adjust your rate of movement to correspond. The key here is that we move smoothly and slowly, getting the chi to move harmoniously throughout the body. Until next time, this is Jack Godfrey, and this was Beginner Qigong. And now we pull down the heavens once again as we move into our five, no, not our five.